Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So is Nicki Minaj teaming up with Sexy Red again? Okay. And then on top of that, um, Nicki Minaj outsells Megan's new single, Copra. So Nicki Minaj yesterday went live to preview um, a few scrapped songs, you know, in the stash from like 2020. Um, and she previewed a song that is, um, you know, a sexual song. And um, she said on Twitter that basically she can't finish a song. She said, I can't do it. But if someone else would like the song, it would be dope. It doesn't match where I'm at mentally, sonically, but the song is hard as F. And then Sexy, um, with her pregnant self, put the I emoji, okay? Basically saying she wants the song. Now, here's the song that Nicki Minaj is going to give away to, I guess, a few female rappers. Daddy, what up? So let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, Nikki did express that she did want to write for other female rappers. And I think she definitely should write for Sexy Red because at the end of the day, I like Sexy Red, but I just don't really think she can rap like that. Okay. But she has a nice personality. She's relatable. Um, the ghetto ratchet hood music is back. I think also if Nikki really plays chess, she should sign Sexy Red because I believe Sexy's still independent. I don't follow her like that, but I believe she's still independent. She should sign Sexy Red and then give her the song. Okay? That's how you play chess. I mean, giving songs out for free, that's nice. But, no shade, you know, you really can't trust these female rappers out here in these streets. I would sign her to a 360 deal. And no shade, Sexy probably don't know what that is, just like she don't know who her baby daddy is. And then, and then, you know, I would give her the song. Okay, you got to play chess with these female reciters and female rappers because one thing we have learned, they eventually will turn on you. Moving on to Doja Badu. Okay, so it looks like Doja is following the Ice Spice um, protocol, the formula, um, she is starting to dress like Ice Spice, um, I didn't see Doja dressing like this before, um, and fans have noticed that, you know, she is, you know, copying Ice Spice, possibly paying homage, you know, none of the female rappers were really wearing those really short mini skirts where your butt shows in the back like that, they weren't doing that, but, you know, Doja Cat, and um, Scratch Off have recently started doing it. Um, and I believe that this is, you know, Doja Cat's way of paying homage to Ice Spice. Um, you may be wondering why she need to pay homage to Ice Spice when Ice Spice is opening up for her. Well, you can be inspired by anybody, okay? Just because Ice Spice has less time in the game, that doesn't mean Doja isn't inspired by her. And then on top of that, um, you know, she did ask her to join the tour for an obvious reason because Ice Spice is hot. But um, we also got to understand that Doja, she's not original and she tends to copy a lot. You know, she copies Nicki Minaj. Um, she tried to copy Nicki on Roman. Um, it didn't really work. Um, you know, she has copied Lady Gaga and Katy Perry. So Doja to me is not really original. Everything she does kind of has already been done. Like when she put out that it's giving. Um, you know, merch clothing line when everybody was already using its giving and she tried to act like she made the brand like or the saying. So I like Doja Cat, um, very talented individuals, but she does tend to take from others. And there's nothing wrong with that. But Doja Cat is not an original person, in my opinion, but talented. But everything she does has already been done. Now, um, unfortunately, Cobra... Didn't do well on the Paleo Fi charts. Um, you know, people were calling 
Nicki Minaj's Last Time I Saw You a Flop, but a debut at number 13 on the U.S. Spotify chart with no music video and promo, and it still did 900,023 streams um, and debut at number 13, okay? And people call that a flop. Now, Cobra, which um, has debuted at number 45, um, 500,000 streams, um, and she does have three Grammys. You know, people are bringing that up. A music video, okay? Um, and, you know, I definitely think that Devil Nation helped her with getting it, the budget for the music video because the music video definitely looked high quality. You know, is this a flop for Megan Thee Stallion? Okay, 500,000 streams on Paleify. Um, Well, you know, considering that she's independent to me, um, that's not really considered a flop, considering that she is independent. But, um, you know, we also got to take the other aspects in. You know, she is independent, but she's still a mainstream artist. And I don't think she's going to stay independent for long, to be quite honest. I think that she is just testing the waters to see if she can still be successful independent. Um, but when she realizes she's not getting any radio play or playlisting, and she's definitely not getting a payola fight deal like Doja Cat, um, where they manipulate her streams, then she'll sign to a major label, okay? But, um, you know, she does have three Grammys. You know, Megan should actually be bigger and doing better sales than she actually does because of the amount of mainstream press that she gets. You know, she performed at the Oscars. You have a song with Queen B, Cardi B, um, you know, Nicki Minaj. Um, like, it's really no excuse. But, you know, hypothetically, you know, she doesn't have the fan base. And the song is not bad. It's just not um, something that I would repeatedly listen to. But the song ain't that bad, in my opinion. It's just something I would never repeatedly listen to or put in my playlist. I'm not going to be singing My Coochie's Depressed. Like, I'm not singing that. Sorry. Next, you're going to be singing My Coochie Flopping. Okay? Um, You know, it was depressed yesterday. It looked like it's flopping today. Now, moving on to Sexy Red. Sexy Red seemingly unfollows Cardi B. Um, Cardi B unfollowed her when the Pound Town 2 um, remix came out with Nicki Minaj. Because she was following her. You know Cardi B is notoriously trying to attach herself to the newer female rappers. Um, She did the same thing with No Spice. But when they start gravitating towards, you know, Nicki Minaj, then Cardi B starts to distance herself. She did the same thing with Ice Spice, okay? Um, You know, Ice Spice... You know, worked with Nicki Minaj. Now she pays Ice Spice does. Okay. But, you know, last year she invited Ice Spice to several parties. They was hanging out in a club. She stuck up for Ice Spice. Okay. And she knows that the reason why she can't unfollow Ice Spice is because, um, you know, Ice Spice, even though it doesn't look like it, Ice Spice is getting more of an industry push than Sexy Red. Sexy's push is coming from the general public, the people really rock with her. But the industry is pushing um, Ice Spice. That's why she got the chart of such racist collaboration. And I definitely think that Cardi B feels some type of way because Sexy Red makes her type of music, that sexual type of music. But all she wants to do is collaborate with Nicki Minaj. She don't want to collaborate Cardi B. That's why Cardi B unfollowed her because she denied Cardi B's collaboration. Just like Ice Spice. Okay? Ice Spice... Never put out the Munch remix, okay? Um, also, Sexy was caught shading um, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion a few weeks ago. She reposted a fan saying, Sexy Red selling out arenas with no label before Grammy winners with multiple number one songs is crazy. And Sexy said, Am I'm pregnant, okay? Which was shade of Cardi B. I know Cardi B probably DM'd her and said, Listen, stop talking junk. So let me know how you guys feel about that. And is Sexy Red wrong for unfollowing Cardi B? Because she definitely was following her. Moving on to Scratch Off. Um, So Scratch Off was spotted at, you know, a basketball game. 
with Mike Wu made it and Ray Schwimmerd. Okay. Um, and allegedly she is working with Mike Will Made It. Okay. You know, Nicki Minaj has worked with Mike Will Made It before. And Scratch Off tends to follow the Nicki Minaj formula. Okay, whatever Nicki do, Scratch Off do because you know, at one moment in time, you know, that was her idol. But now Scratch Off said that Nicki Minaj is her idol turn rival. Okay, so she's no longer Scratch Off's idol, but she is her rival, according to Scratch Off. Um, you know, Mike Will made it also worked with Purdy Chicken, um, you know, Juicy J, um, you know, several different other artists. I think he recently worked with Glow Stick. So it kind of makes sense that, you know, he is working with Scratch Off because he recently worked with Glow Stick. I think the song flopped. But let me know how you guys feel about that. And do you guys think that Scratch Off and Mike Wilmater will be successful? Now, moving on from that, um, Nicki Minaj tweeted, OMG, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not an effing drill. Guess whose vocals just came in for Pink Friday 2? Y'all are going to Gag City. And a lot of people are speculating that it could be Queen Bee. Because of how hyped Nicki Minaj is. Um, You know, she also did say that, you know, she's working with a lot of different artists that she hasn't worked with before on Pink Friday 2. And she's worked with Queen Bee twice before, um, you know, on the Pink Print. And, you know, they did the Flawless Remix. They did Feeling Myself. Um, They also have another song in the stash called Donk. That got leaked a few years ago. So they have already worked together. I wouldn't mind another collaboration, but I'm just saying they already have worked together. Um, And here's the thing. The way Nicki Minaj is hyping this album up, this album better be the album of the year. Okay? It has to be the album of the year. I'm expecting stars, A-listers, not DNF-listers, A-listers on this album. Um, a 10 out of a 10 for this album because Nicki has been hyping us up for this album. I need at least Queen B or Rihanna on this album. It don't have to be both, but I'm going to need at least one because Nicki has been, you know, gassing us up for this album. So that means Rihanna or Queen B got a hand in the vocals. Okay, I feel like Queen B is more realistic because, you know, Rihanna a little lazy, no shade. Um, but um, I wouldn't mind another Queen B and Nicki collaboration. Um, it could be the chart obsessed races, too. You know, she could have just handed her vocals in, too. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, are you guys excited for Pink Friday, too? Um, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link would be in the description. And have a great day.